When you look at uh, some of the European earnings, do you look at their forecast in the future? Do you actually look at the e earning season that was? Or do you uh, kind of, you know, uh, try and figure out what the chief executive sees as the biggest risk out there? Well, look, I try to put it all into a context. It's best to look at the overall picture. And, 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 and I agree. You know, the world is still a global village. And when the U.S. is doing well, it's unlikely that Europe is doing so poorly. And there's no fundamental reasons for it. If anything, monetary policy in Europe is more accommodative in, than U.S. monetary policy. Fiscal policy is probably at par with U.S. fiscal policy, what, ex except for the tax cut. And, you know, European corporate leaders are just as good or bad, if you will, as American ones. The main difference between the two is that the U.S. has a tax sector and Europe doesn't. And that's, that explains most of the difference. So, and if you took the value approach, then you'd see that actually European uh, equity risk premiums look substantially higher than their American counterparts, while momentum, of course, remains behind the U.S. stock market. And that's a view that one shouldn't, one shouldn't stand against.